Hello, good morning. If it is morning where you are, it's morning where I am right now recording this. It is gorgeous and sunny. It's probably like 68 degrees, slight breeze, the birds are singing. It's an awesome day and I'm off work today, so I am going to head to the park and go biking and walk my golden retriever. But before I do that, I want to look a little bit more alive, so I'm going to demonstrate for you how to do a super easy everyday look, kind of on the go, something you can do quick. It literally takes the fewest amount of products you can imagine, so let's jump right in. This is the foundation I'm going to use. It's from Limelight by Alcone. It is in the shade Gina Beige, and I'm going to apply it with Limelight's Buffer Brush because it is the best thing I have found to do super sheer coverage that also gets all the redness, any blemishes that you would want to cover, and it picks up so little product in the process that you can't help but prefer it over the traditional sponge or even beauty blender. Honestly, I've used Limelight's Beauty Blender, loved it, but it does pick up a little bit more product than the buffer brush. So if you are able to choose any dream tool in the world to apply your foundation with, I would definitely recommend this buffer brush. And this foundation is 50% pigment. So despite whatever tool you are using, a little bit of product is going to go a super long way which is something I really like because that means you can get a full coverage of foundation without feeling like you have a lot of product caked onto your face. So this is just something you go all over with and really light airy circular motions. I put on, um, well I, I use Limelight skincare products too so of course you always want to start makeup with a clean face. Um, before I put this on, I actually also applied Skin Therapist, which is a facial moisturizer. And I applied Must Do, which is a face oil that brightens and hydrates the skin. And um, I actually think it acts as a little bit of an all natural facial highlighter too, because what I like to do is apply it to my cheekbones, my brow bones, and my jawline. And so it tends to make those particular areas a little bit brighter. And so right now I'm almost done blending it all in and I don't feel like I have any product on my face. I wish I could show you guys just how little it takes. And so, um, you know, Limelight by Alcone is a, a higher end foundation and so it is going to have a slightly higher price point than your drugstore makeups. But this tiny little tub lasts you four to six months. Um, I've actually already gone through one. I had it from the beginning of December to the beginning of March, and that was me using it every single day and then also using it for my parties because it was the first palette that I had coming into Limelight, um, the business, and um, I, so a lot of friends used it. I used it for my parties for people to sample like the texture and everything because it is a little bit different. It's wax-based, and so when people are used to using a liquid foundation, yes, it goes on a little bit like smoother I guess you feel like because it glides over your skin this you kind of meld to your skin but once it's on it the heat of your face makes the wax foundation kind of meld to your skin but it's non-comedogenic so it's not going to clog your pores and so it looks just like you have a fresh layer of skin on if that makes sense instead of like a layer of makeup and that's something that I really love about this foundation. And so the next product that I'm going to put on is blush. I believe this is blush number four. Just a super light uh, peach shade of blush. And our blushes are highly pigmented. So again, it takes just a tiny little bit. And I'm using, I don't even know what brand this is of blush brush. Something I picked up at Walmart. Real Techniques. So Limelight by Alcone is a professional Makeup line, meaning it is um, a grade of makeup used by makeup artists. Alcone actually created Limelight by Alcone to bring like stage makeup, celebrity makeup to the everyday person at an affordable price point. Um, and that's why I started selling it because I loved it so much when I began using it that I was recommending it to all my friends anyway. So I thought, hey, I might as well get a little kickback from the recommendations. 
Um, and then I like to use a little bit of the translucent powder. Oops, that's another blush. Sorry about that. The translucent powder, here we go. And it looks white, which is a little scary going on, but the great thing about it being translucent is it actually has no color, no pigmentation of its own, so it just mattifies whatever it's going over instead of adding color, adding um, any, I don't know what you call it, but you know when you put on some like foundation powders and it kind of just enhances your pores and makes you look like you just caked something on instead of like brushed something on. It doesn't do that. <laughs> it just mattifies whatever you've previously applied. So let me curl my eyelashes real quick and I will show you the wonder of our mascara. It's kind of magic in a tube. You guys, I've been really impressed with the length and the volume. And here's, here's my thing. I've gotten the same length and volume to be perfectly candid from other brands of mascara, but within a very short amount of time, they either flake off or rub off or you have a lot of black under your eyes over time. And this stays on, which is really nice. So, yeah, it's an easy way to just open your eyes, brighten your face a little bit, make you look a little bit more awake, a little bit more alive. I would say if you're walking out the door and you only have time to apply one thing, probably go with mascara, just because it's the most natural way to look a tad more glamorous than the face you woke up with. And I don't know, for me, makeup is kind of like a form of self-care, you know? Like, it just gives you a tiny boost of confidence, makes you feel put together, makes you feel your personal best. And self-care is so important. I think people think of it as something like really luxurious, like a bubble bath or a pedicure. And it can be those things too, but... Sometimes it's as simple as just taking a couple of minutes to put on makeup before you start your day. Or, you know, it's sitting out in the sunshine while you drink your coffee instead of at your breakfast table, just so you can get that extra little uh, boost of solar power to start your day with. For me, it's definitely going outside. I love being outdoors. There's something about being outdoors that just really revives me and makes me feel alive. The last thing I'm going to put on is our Enduring Lip Color. It goes on really satiny and it dries matte, but unlike a lot of other lip stains I've used, it stays really um, kind of satiny as a feel on your lips. Even though it looks matte, it feels satiny and it doesn't dry your lips out, which is really nice. And even though it's long wear, it's not a pain to take off like a lot of long wear lipsticks or lip colors. And it's just a really gorgeous natural pink. And that will stay with you all day. Um, and like I said, it's just a, sorry, my hair is falling down. It's just a really natural color um, that kind of enhances what you've already got. For me, I don't lo super love um, like really bright, crazy, bold makeup. But if it's something that looks natural and just enhances the features you already have, that is my favorite look. So there you go. It probably took five minutes if I wasn't talking through everything and it's super quick. Just use a couple of products, the foundation, the translucent powder, the blush, the mascara, and the enduring lip color. So, and all of that you could fit into a purse easily. You could fit that all into a Ziploc bag if you wanted to. Um, so obviously easy to travel with, easy to apply. And now I'm going to go enjoy this gorgeous weather. I hope it's beautiful wherever you are too and that you enjoy your day. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.